of January 3rd and Daniel and I are in a redneck blind almost in the middle of a long ridgetop food plot we call Big Boomerang. Daniel had some good hunts earlier this year, in particular was chasing a buck we called Emmy, but we've also seen some other good bucks based on organics images using this area. The weather today has warmed up a good bit, probably 10 degrees more, not 10%, but 10 degrees more than it's been recently, so that's probably like a 20% increase. It felt warm walking in compared to what I'm used to. And I'm sure with the recent snow and moisture and these warmer temperatures, some of the strong annual clovers in our blend really popped a little bit today. You know, put a few pounds, 100 pounds, whatever, per acre on the day. And that lush green food on a warm day should be a great attraction. We know there's bucks in the area. The acorns are gone. For a long ways south of us, there's no food plots. And for a fair ways north of us, so this is a big feeding hub. It's just a matter of whether they get here before dark. So it's a trade-off of a great day for deer to get out and feed. Still warm enough for them to feel good about feeding, but not so warm. They're like, oh, I'm waiting till it goes down to move. If they get here before dark, we got the bucks, we got the food. Now it's time to wait. Daniel and I just walked back to the truck after having a field full of deer. We saw 19 deer, 
believe about four yearling bucks. None had shed yet, one had broken off, and the rest were does and fonts. Kept thinking that one of our big boys would step out, but still, it's just a great example of a late winter hunt. When you have the best groceries in the neighborhood, you're gonna have the deer and you're gonna see the deer. It's just a matter of being at the right place and the right time when one of our big boys steps out.